What's up, guys? It's Caliber here. And the Beast. So, I had a pretty big fuck-up. We're, we're going to talk about that real quick. So, obviously, we did Mod Mouth normally on Friday. Uh, I uploaded it Saturday. Without reviewing... I really need to start reviewing the videos before I upload them. Because if I review them before I upload them, sums off with the video, I don't have to upload it. And I won't look like a dumbass. Somehow, his audio got turned off. Record system sound got turned off, so you couldn't hear him. But, it's whatever. It's Sunday. I'm hungover. He's got to work tomorrow. But, um... <clears throat> I went to the vape shop Friday. And I got, uh... I got... Some things. I got two bottles of juice. So I got two bottles of juice. This is, uh... Number 32 Beard Salt. And it's a, uh... Uh, what is this? Delicious Cinnamon Funnel Cake. 50-50. Uh, 50 milligrams of nicotine. And then I got some, uh... Chain Vape. Uh, 100. And this is, a uh, cereal flavored. Like a fruity cereal flavor with a little, a little bit of cream. It's actually really fucking delicious. I've been vaping on it. But the last thing I got, and, uh, I've been wanting one of these, is the Smock Nord. Which is... It's it's in the same category as the uh, the Aspire Sprite. Um, <clears throat> I was going to do um, a review of the um, uh, the Fuse Alto, but I don't have that in my possession anymore. I gave that back to my grandmother. Uh, it, it honestly it sucks. I'm just putting it out there, I give it a three out of ten. It's got good battery life, the flavor's good on it, but the pods don't last for shit. Alright, so, <clears throat> all that you get with this is um, quality control and uh, user's manual, which these are pretty straightforward. I can actually tell you guys how to use this without you having to look in the user manual. So, the first thing you do is you'll have two coils in here. So, this is the uh, 0.4, and then above it, you'll have a 0.6 ohm coil and uh one thing i will say off the bat of this it it does tend to leak because uh the way the coils go in here so we're gonna go ahead and wipe that off wipe off the inside in here Alright, so obviously the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take whatever coil you want to use out. You're going to prime that up, <clears throat> and then once you got it primed up, like the uh, juice in the little holes, and then squirt some down the top. That's how I prime up my coils, all my coils, so it doesn't matter whether it's small coils, the Aspire Sprite coils. Um, it's just the way I prime up coil heads, so... And then you're going to insert it in the bottom. These are, like I said, are press fit. I believe I said this, but they're press fit coils. So you just press them in. And um, fill the tank up off on the side right here. I like this one. It's on the side instead of like on the bottom, like the Sprite is. Or in your case, the boulder. So that's on the side here. And it's really easy to fill up. And it's also easy to get this... Um, this little uh, plug out to fill it up. So you fill it up that way, then you drop the pod down in there, then you push, well, let it sit for a little bit. I say about maybe five to ten minutes, let it sit for about that. Um, there's other ways you can get it to prime up a lot faster, like um, you can uh, try and close off the airflow as much as you can and take dry puffs. Um, that was recommended for the, uh, for this guy right here, the, uh, Lost Vapor Ryan. They want you to close off the airflow all the way and do like five to ten, uh, primer puffs. It just helps the, uh, it helps the coils last a lot longer, the pods last a lot longer. But like I said, this is in the category of the Aspire Sprite. It's a hybrid. It's got this little, this little pod that you pull out. Mm -hmm. But it uses standard coil heads. Mm -hmm. 
So I think this is really nice. And believe it or not, I've actually dropped this a few times. But because there's no weight in it, like unlike, say, like a mod, if you drop a mod with it having the batteries and all the weight in there, uh, it'll, like it'll, yeah, it'll dent, it'll dent it up pretty easily. But something this light, if it hits, yeah, well, you, you're also a trucker too. But my mine's starting to come out there. See that bad? So my luck was out of But well, you also, have, well, to be fair, uh, mine hit direct concrete, <laughs> and yet it's uh, for some reason it still fucking works. I, I'm hard on mods. I'm probably harder on mods than what he is. His just the vibrations and you probably have stuff in like what your cup holders in your truck, like change or something like that. So metal on metal is going to wear that paint down. But, um, but no, going back to this, this is really light. So when I dropped it, it didn't, it doesn't have any, any dents on it from what I can see. Um, it is, it is hard to keep clean. Because it's kind of mm-hmm. shiny, so you get finger. It's like a fingerprint magnet, and it's really annoying. But um, no. There might be a few scr- scuffs. I I can't really tell. It might be just juice or something but um no with it being light it's not going to have that much weight on it so it's not going to dent up as easily and uh i've also dropped it on the resin panels Mm -hmm. and uh those didn't chip out uh i don't think the resin panel on this one chipped out too bad i yeah i can't see anything but um so once it's uh once it's all primered up and uh it's wicked up as the the coil and the cotton is nice and saturated. You can vape on it. And the vapor production that day, I, I was really surprised because I have I have the Lost Vapor Ryan as well as the Aspire Sprite. <laughs> the fucking vapor production I get off this. I'm this is me being insane right now. I'm about to direct lung fifty milligrams on a point six ohm coil head. Mesh coil. Mesh coil. Sorry. Uh, I prefer mouth to lung with these. So it works good for mouth to lung. Nice. Don't ever um, put this warning out here right now. Do not... I repeat, do not, under any circumstances, direct lung, 50 milligrams. You can fuck yourself up really easily that way. I direct lunged um, 50 milligrams in the uh, Law Safe Orion, which that has a... Actually, I think the... What pot am I using in this? I believe I'm using the .25... Yeah, I'm using a .25 ohm, and I was... After one hit, I was fucking spinning. Because the resistance is so low and it just... It's a it's a throat hitter on the Lost Vape Orion. But no. I did one for TikTok using the song Medicaid by... Um, or RX by Theory of a Dead Man. That song that I've been liking. I did, it, I did that to that song. And that just... I was spinning afterwards. So I don't, I don't try and uh, direct lung. I... If I'm going to use 50 milligram or higher, I don't think they make any higher. I think the highest I've seen is 50 milligram. I typically do mouth to lungs. And I've actually gotten the habit where I'll bring something like this or the Lost Vape Orion. I actually got it on this uh, Under Armour lanyard. Yeah, it's a little bit longer. But I prefer something like this because this will be definitely a lot stronger than if I really needed to. I can have a, uh, I have a quick release for whatever reason. And, uh, whatever. for whatever reason, if I need a quick release, but this worked good. It's just, it's kind of stretchy and I don't like that. It's like, you kind of want to like 
what predicament are you expecting me to get in? Do I need to have a quick release? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but no, I, I don't really want to bring the Orion too much because that is my most expensive pod system. The thing was 70 bucks. Yeah. With something like, say this, if I lose this, guess what? I can go to the vape shop and buy another one. The 30 bucks. 30 compared to 70. Which one's more easier to replace? I would say the $30 one. Not to mention this on the lines of with the uh, uh, Spire Sprite in the long run, it is going to be a lot cheaper. Because... With the Lost Vape Orion, when you buy pods for it, it either comes in a pack of one or a pack of two. Now, the pack of two is around $12, $13. With this, I can get a pack of uh, 6 oh, 0.6 ohm mesh coils for like $14. And that's five of them. Five that's coils. Right. Five for 14 Or $14 for five. However you want to orient it. But I gotta say, I I didn't like building with mesh, but these pre-made mesh coils, the flavor is just absolutely phenomenal. And the flavor of this, uh, so if you guys remember, I had the uh, BFB Liquids Morning Fire. You remember that big ass bottle? The thing was about oh, what that big. Yeah. <laughs> I've I love that e-juice, and I found it once. One time after that, because they had it on sale again, it was in a 120, and I fucking love that juice. Mm -hmm. I have been turned on to cinnamon e-juices, because Morning mm -hmm. Fire was like a cinnamon toast, cinnamon raisin toast or right. something like that. It was fucking delicious. I looked online for the big bottles. Uh, I vapes between 6 and 50 milligrams of nicotine, mainly 6 and free base, and then 50 and... Uh, Salt Nick or Nick Salt, however you want to say that as well. But everywhere I looked for uh, BFB Liquids Morning Fire in six, it's been sold out. <laughs> and I think the reason why those uh, juices were on sale or on sale is because I don't think they make that juice anymore. No problem. No. Because I used to get, I, I'd got some flawless juice from there that they they uh, that flawless was going to stop making, and that's why they the vape shop puts them on sale is because they don't sell that well and they're not going to get any more juice, so they might as well just try and liquidate what they have. Right. But my vape shop is fucking amazing. Like they have juices on sale and it's awesome. They have juices on sale. They have mods on sale. Tanks. It's just. It's Pretty fucking cool. But, um, yeah, no, I think that's pretty much it. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to S13 underscore the beast. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to be up alerted when I upload a new video. Anyways, guys, this is Beast and Caliber signing out.